I have seven minutes uh, past 17 p.m. and it is the 8th of March uh, 2024 and the video uh, which I'm recording uh, has now uh, 15 seconds. Uh, I am in the apartment in the center of uh, Ostrava and uh, uh, it is for me, I'm afraid, from uh, what I am trying to understand to last year, it looks like around 25 years uh, for me uh, trapped, imprisoned in the simulation. Uh, I'm trying hard to start to understand all these topics connected with neurotechnology and uh, neural manipulation. And uh, uh, it is complicated for me because uh, where I am living, uh, the dimension uh, I am uh, all the time in, or even this dimension could be changed. Uh, for me, it's still cognitively similar. And uh, till the March 2023, this is uh, the year now, my cognition uh, was uh, somehow uh, ordinary. Uh, there was some uh, rare, uh, rare uh, situations, and there were some race, rare situations where uh, I perceived uh, that uh, I could be in the simulation, but I was not able to explain to myself in a rational way, uh, and I am an rational thinker uh, influenced strongly then through this uh, illusion of rationality, uh, for example, in the sense uh, when one is uh, valid, uh, something uh, different, uh, different uh, can't uh, be, be valid too at once. So uh, I was explaining uh, to myself uh, still in different uh, ways than I, till 2020, I started to think that I could be uh, part of uh, some uh, experiment, military psychological medio experiment, which went uh, strongly wrong. And uh, I felt myself stalked and blackmailed. Like all my life, I am under some discredited pressure. Uh, and uh, I was explaining to myself uh, some experiences in this way done. Uh, Till the March 23, uh, for me, it's not possible. Uh, and uh, because I started to reach uh, quiet thinking communication, uh, not only verbal, but also non-verbal, and uh, it's uh, new for me, and really strong haptics. Uh, and uh, in this sense, then, I started slowly to understand a really complicated uh, situation I am in. And uh, it took me a year uh, to to start to understand uh, uh, better. And uh, in, in this year, because I started uh, to be informed, for example, uh, about long-lasting crimes against humanity, long-lasting situation uh, of totalitarian abusion of all the science, uh, media, executive official legislative power, and also the spirituality, uh, I started to feel the duty to work uh, in this sense and to publicate all the information I have access to, to share them with everyone who cares. Sadly, <clears throat> even I am publicating a few, few videos I have publicated on YouTube. I publicated around 20 articles on the blog Trusting in the Truth. Uh, I am writing uh, on social media, I am sharing the poetry against totality or through poetry against totality poems. Uh, where I am explicitly uh, trying to describe some notion which I have about this uh, usage of uh, neurotechnology or of, uh, about its fusion. Uh, and explicitly I am writing uh, such poems which are much more than the art, uh, even there are rhymes. So, uh, this is one of the reasons I'm calling it poetry. Uh, I am trying to share uh, explicit information so I am able to reach or uh, I am able to get to them through my interpretation, uh, through a communication uh, which is corrupt as strong. And uh, sadly, uh, it took me time, it took me almost half a year till I started uh, to take seriously the possibility that there are really some people who are presenting themselves as original personalities of others. Uh, it took me half a year till I started to take seriously uh, the possibility that uh, there are people who are outsourcing uh, not only the authorship of, of 
people. Uh, in my case, uh, these are hundreds of paintings and sculptures, hundreds of texts and uh, even some songs and music. Uh, but uh, th th there are people who are able to outsource not only neurotechnologically, like in direct sense, uh, through outsourcing the memory center, uh, but also through spoken and uh, uh, this type of, of, of uh, behavior who are able to outsource uh, life experiences, memories uh, of others to use them then uh, connected with different visuals and identities. And uh, all this praxis uh, then is leading to steal the bodies of people in non simulated reality. Uh, the revolution as uh, usage of some avatars in a, in a video game. And uh, for me, for me, it was a long time. I'm not, uh, I was not able to understand uh, how it is possible uh, how such behavior could be could be motivated. Uh, so uh, it took me a long time to take it seriously. Uh, then I started to perceive some type of ideology uh, which could be somehow composed from uh, this attitude uh, playing, playing video games with people people's lives. Uh, with uh, some pseudo uh, or abusion of the science and spirituality in this sense, and with disconnected then the business with identities and bodies uh, of people, and this everything somehow connected through some uh, sexual positivity or freedom, pseudo freedom uh, in sexuality, and uh, some uh, rebellious behavior or pseudo rebellion, which in fact is supporting the totality and the crimes against humanity. For example, in attitude to uh, the authorship. And uh, it could look that uh, the authorship is uh, somehow boring topic uh, for some artists or, or uh, something as this. But in fact, not only from the point of view of forensic science and all the science, the authorship is the way uh, how to defend uh, the personality personal responsibility, and through this only way, how it is possible to protect, defend the rights and freedoms for individuals. And uh, how I tried to alert on previous, in previous video I have publicated, sadly, we are in the situation which uh, under such strong manipulation that it is really from my point of view needed to alert that individual uh, like protection of rights and freedoms valid for individuals. It means for every unique individual personality, which is not possible to multiply. Personality is not something what is possible to multiply. And even these neurotechnologies are not allowing anything as this. And if it is pretended, it is then made as uh, really fake and dangerous advocating of, of uh, tries to get rid of people and uh, what is needed uh, to, to understand and to share is uh, also that personality is not possible to share with anyone and it's a problem because uh, these neurotechnologies are allowing to share uh, partially the cognition with the person, partially it is possible to share the brain activity and through this yeah, uh, this is then how it is created, uh, this possibility to uh, present oneself as personality of someone different, to create some pseudo dimensions or uh, pseudo space where, where such uh, person is pretended to be, abuse them on identity, relationships, uh, professionality, positions, uh, and also, uh, also, uh, uh, it is by how to abuse the visual and body or bodiness in simulation of the person. And uh, these relations exactly we need to uh, to protect. Uh, what is terrifying for me, uh, and uh, this is what I tried even to mention uh, in previous video, uh, only rational explanation for such behavior, because from my point of view, uh, from uh, um, the point of view of the exact science, uh, or some really logical, rational point of view, there is no explanation 
for this outsourcing or presenting own sales as, as personality of someone different, then uh, this type of ideological behavior then connected with some spirituality, or uh, it's only true effect. And uh, this is hard corruption of possibility to call for help, uh, corruption of emergency callings for help. And uh, then people who are trying to stop the crimes against humanity, which are based on torturing, terrorizing, bullying, not only, but somehow caught in the behavior which is used to uh, not to talk about in between the professionals. Uh, then uh, such people who are uh, abused in this way or endangered are enabled to call for help on the place where they really are through this house which is made by people who are presented in different dimensions, in different bodies, uh, in different relationships, outsourced on the life stories and presented as different identities and visuals. This is then uh, what, uh, what uh, is caused. Uh, no possibility to call for help. And with this then connected is yes, uh, discreditation and endangering of people who are uh, in the really sensitive and dangerous situation uh, uh, as, as people who went through such uh, situations, through such an uh, abusions, should be protected by the law. But a law is uh, somehow unable to move and we feed many people. Many people who are not able to move their bodies, who are not able to talk through their lips, and uh, these are mostly people who are trying hard all their lives to stop this totalitarian uh, behavior, this totalitarian influence, which is somehow international, and uh, who are trying hard to protect rights and freedoms uh, for themselves and for others too. And such uh, the rights and freedoms, and this is the topic, really strong topic, uh, are supposed to be protected and protective also for professionals and uh, to adopt uh, this fact is, is really dangerous because this is exactly what is enabling them to uh, be supportive and helpful enough for the public. So uh, uh, this is somehow uh, the problem uh, we are dealing with and uh, me personally, Mikhaila Petrovova uh, is my uh, birth uh, name and surname. First name I have still the same but sadly I am still the year 2018 married where I am. So my surname is now officially different where I am. But I am that thing in officiality because in the last year in identity and visual of my husband uh, were more than 100 people acting themselves somehow venomously, ideologically. And it took me time to understand why this women's ideological behavior, like having entertainment with with this type of situation. Why women is? answer is simple, because most of the members of executive, legislative and official power are men. And there is much more to share, but uh, what I'm trying to, to do through this video exactly, I am trying to make it uh, more clear who I am and where I am, uh, because the tries to communicate through quiet thinking, or uh, I have many written by the hand, many emails I'm sending to myself in English. I started to communicate mostly in English to reach international communication and not to give the false arguments to manipulate with my speech or with uh, my text uh, through translations. Uh, I need somehow to try to break through this uh, corruption of communication to get the attention, the attention there where uh, it's needed, and still it's not possible. And still my quiet thinking communication, sadly, and my brain activity serving to some groups of people who are having, uh, instead of constructive work, some entertainment with uh, my brain, with, with my thinking as uh, they are perceiving it as some type of uh, medial content, not only like uh, making from it like uh, enjoying this bullying, torturing uh, of people, but also in pornographic sense. And it is really disgusting for me because I am really uh, not having any sex. For me, 
I'm heterosexual monogamic person uh, and like focus on the relationship with personality and without such almost professional collegial partnership, uh, which I'm looking for all my life. Even I am not like feminist or uh, like uh, uh, seven years I'm not drinking alcohol and uh, eating only plant-based food much sooner than I, I knew that I am in simulation that it is possible to, to transfer different species of thinking or minds to different species brain uh my behavior is not like all my life like uh puritan one or but a relationship with personality uh, and i was trying to to escape from the people till 2015 away from the city to get myself somewhere aside the society because i was scared i thought i'm blackmailed discreditated from different reasons still i don't know why exactly but 25 years I'm imprisoned in the simulation uh, as the slave outsourced. And uh, what I swear many times, many times, it's not the role, I'm not the actor, I'm not going to be the politician. And uh, I am continuing in this type of work because I feel it is my duty. I have no contract, no, no wage, and, and for me, it's. I feel it is my duty. My professionality is mostly the philosopher, even my diploma thesis, uh, which I tried to reach through uh, yeah, the master degree on the University of Palatsky, which is communicating really up in absolute way. Uh, it wasn't possible to accept for them my diploma thesis. Uh, from my point of view, it was discredited that through two times supposed F. Even I tried after a year uh, to, to correct it somehow. It's written in Czech language. And, Many I shared through quiet thinking and uh, different writings, even in English, recorded some video, which I have not publicated. Uh, sadly, I thought this could be the way how to secure myself, how to work for the public in some official way to, to continue in PhD uh, studies. My PhD project, Britain and Sandit, I, I really thought it uh, because it went to good. I, I was evaluated by the grade B uh, through uh, the closing exams a year ago. And uh, I was not expecting that with my diploma thesis, it is going so wrong. Uh, I am a color of the arts, I am a painter, and, but I was studying also, studying also media and uh, now communication or the language in uh, but in different different field. Uh, but I am not sure if to if to be such specific, if to uh, or if to still uh, try to keep it a little bit wide. But we really. Like for me, it looks that really important positions, even high positions, are unable to move, to communicate, not reaching the people who they need to be in contact with. And uh, behavior of universities, even lack of reactions of on even on my open letter, or even tries to ask for uh, the advices, even different universities than the University of Paraguay, of Czech Republic, are somehow without answer. And then now I am again in the risk to have to do that for another semester, which is right, like really, from my point of view, strongly absurd and weird. And uh, so I'm trying to share this video to, to try to make it better, to try to make it more clear who I am, where I am, and who could be connected with me in strong need of help with uh, strongly corrupted communication and uh, no possibility call for it. So, uh, so I hope it could help. I hope it could help. I was, uh, I moved myself uh, during the Christmas time at a different apartment in the center of Ostrava. Uh, it was not good. While I left at the flat, it looks for me it could have uh, probably like really bad influence of, on some situations, but, but uh, I will wait with, with, uh, with being more specific in this answer. And I, I wish hard uh, not only these videos, uh, but also my uh, text, articles, poetry, my work uh, to support all of those who, who are trying hard, who are supposed to talk free instead of me right now. And uh, I'm trying hard even to not to serve to this designed bordering of the communication, bordering and personalization, because I feel myself as the weak point of this all. Of this all. I don't have people around me to communicate with all this information. So it is so easy to discreditate me. And there are, again, this pushing me, uh, push me to some prepared diagnosis and everything are just biases in my head. And I don't know what 
uh, so easy to discreditate me because I have no colleague around me. It is really easy to uh, to use me as this weak point. So please, if, if you are in contact with me or if you know something about my work, don't use me as only verification. We need more because I am in the sense, sadly, the weak point. But I'm adding my part of the work uh, to, to all the context and I am I am in strong wish to, to make it better because this is my only motivation uh, to work on and I'm working hard not only to support the topic of authorship or to uh, uh, now I'm starting to work somehow uh, because I, I it's part of my field uh, we need to make media again uh, to be part of, of of exact of the exact science because the simulations, this neural manipulation is ruled by the medicine, connected with the media and uh, suppressing the media uh, uh, or uh, uh, presenting them as something different that they really are. Uh, it's not helping them. So still I am here trusting in the truth. <laughs>